hello, hello, family. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wait, let me get my earpiece. Because I want to make sure that y'all are hearing me super, super clearly. So, family, I have just gotten in this here. We just got this in the Quantum X. It is the water filtration vacuum cleaner. It comes with these accessories, the dust um, brusher, the pet upholstery, and the crevice tool. Also, I got it in the rose gold color. So this is the unboxing. It has the advanced water. Um, it is an upright vacuum. And this is the one that if you pull up, it leans to the side. So I don't have a I don't have a tripod. So I am gonna put you all down, open her up, and then show her to y'all once she is together. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here's how it comes in the box. Gives you the the all right, family. So here we go. It gives you the quick set guides. And I'm trying something new. So we'll see if this works, y'all. But it tells you how to put it together, how to secure the water in the container. It comes with the extension poles. It's only supposed to take one screw. And then these are the, the different parts. the crevice and then I also ordered the fragrances to go into the water and then you have a bag to put all of your to put all of your extensions and tools and all this kind of stuff goes in this bag so I hope I'm getting all of this in the video because I don't know. Here is the hose that you attach that you use to put the attachments on. It comes with the cord separate. So you put that together. And then here goes the beautiful, absolutely gorgeous Quantum X. I'm actually gonna take this off, turn it off, and put it together, and then I'll come back and we'll use it together for the first time. All right, fam, so here we go. We got the whole machine together. This is what it looks like all put together. Okay, this is the front of it. I'm about to attach the, the holes because we already have a spill. So I'm about to test the holes and see how it works. We vacuum that portion of the carpet. Let's see what it looks like. Ew. Yep, looks pretty gross. And so that is what we just picked up out of the carpet. And that was just a light little first pass through, so. Yeah. So far, I'm liking it, but we're going to use it a couple of times, see how we really feel about it, and then I will come back to you later. All right, hello, family. I wanted to come 
um, before you today is Thursday, January 7th, and I wanted to bring you an update because <clears throat> in the previous clips, you're going to see that I purchased, um, I purchased the Quantum X vacuum. And so I just wanted to give you an update that I did send the vacuum cleaner back. And so let me tell you why I sent it back. Um, so in my search for a vacuum, although I like the fact that it did not have a filter that it used water, that was a, a great feature and one of the reasons why I um, purchased the Quantum X. I felt like um, that in some areas, the suction wasn't as good as it should be. So what I mean by that is that it picked up small items, but it did not pick up like like small pieces of paper. You know how if you cut, if you um, tear off the the edges of um, of paper out of a notebook, spiral notebook, and it has those little fringes that's left. And so if you try to vacuum up things like that, I had a difficult time being able to pick up pieces of paper that were even that size. And so that was one of um, the things I felt like it should have been able to do. But bigger than that, even bigger than that, I have a two-story home. And so, excuse me, and so in the two-story home, I needed to be able to take the vacuum up and down the steps. And um, because it was filled with water, it was very heavy for me. Um, so I wanted to come back and just give y'all a little update. It is an amazing vacuum. It did exactly what it said it would do. It sucked a lot of the dirt up out of my carpet. My carpet is extremely old and to the point where probably in the next year or two, I'm gonna change it out anyway. But it did pull out a lot of dirt in the carpet and you saw it um, in the water, but it was just way too heavy. Cause even with the fact that I felt like it didn't um, pick up certain things, I was still gonna keep it, but it was just way too heavy. Um, so I'm looking at a stick vacuum type um, situation now so that I can be able to either have one upstairs and one downstairs or be able to at least take it up and down the steps. And so, like I said, I just wanted to give y'all an update. So I did send my Quantum X back, um, not because it's not a good vacuum. It is a very good vacuum. If you want something that's good, um, for allergies and you want something where you don't need filters, it's going to be amazing. If you um, need something that's going to that's going to reach under objects, it's good for that because it extends. But if you have two stories and you have um, and you only want this want it to be a primary vacuum cleaner, it is very heavy. When you pull the water in, it makes it heavier. And so for me, it was just too much to take up and down the steps. I would have to call my son to carry it for me. And that's just me. I have a bad back um, and I have bad knees. And so it's hard enough for me to get up and down the steps, nevertheless, to carry myself and a vacuum. So that's just my update on the Quantum X. It is a gorgeous vacuum. Um, it does what it says. It's, it was just heavy for me. So I did return it. All right, so I'm not telling you not to get it. It might be perfect for your house, for your home, but it was not perfect for mine. And so I did return it. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. As always, make each and every day amazing. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in and becoming part of the family. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.